Hi and welcome to SynShare. This is a getting started tutorial video that's going to walk you through every step that you need to get started with your brand new SynShare account. When you first log into SynShare, this is the page that you're going to come to. It's the very first icon on the left and it's called schedule a post. But to first get started, we actually need to come to the second icon, which is called My Networks first. Because when you first log in here, none of this is going to be here yet as places to schedule to. And so we need to go and get those places for you. So you're going to click on the My Networks button. And it's going to load up probably nothing into your screen when you're first getting started, except for maybe your personal timeline. We need to have SynShare reach out to Facebook on your behalf and connect to everywhere on Facebook that you are an admin. So right now we're under the Facebook tab. We're going to turn around and do the same thing for Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. But we're going to start with Facebook. So if you're under the Facebook tab, like I said, you might only have this timeline one here. We need to go get your groups and your pages. So you're going to click on this refresh button right here, and it's going to reach out to Facebook on your behalf, and it's going to connect us to all of those places that you admin. This might take a little while depending on how many different uh, groups and event, events and albums and stuff that you have connected to your Facebook account. So then you just wait until it completely loads. So once it completely loads, you will see all the different Facebook groups that you admin and down below you will see all the Facebook pages that you admin. What you're going to notice is pretty much all of yours are going to have broken hearts. And that's because reaching out and grabbing them was just the first step. Now we have to actually give permission on your behalf from you to Facebook that says, yes, I want since share to post for me onto that platform. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose whatever group or page that you need. And we're going to click on the broken heart that says action required. That's telling us we need to do something. Inside here comes a pop-up that actually has the instructions of what I'm about to show you. So what it is, is we have to connect your group on Facebook to SynthShare by giving permission for the app to connect with us. So we're going to go down here. This is all the instructions that say exactly what I'm about to show you. But you click on the connect group on Facebook button and it brings us over to that Facebook group that you want to connect and it drops us right into your group settings where you can set this up. And you scroll down until you see the um, thing that says apps. We're going to click add apps and it's going to reach out and we're going to say that we want to connect this group to SynthShare. So it loads up all the different apps that you can connect to a group and we're going to look for SynthShare. Oh, there it was right here. We're going to click on SynthShare. It says, you know, do we want to add this app? And we say add. And then it's going to tell us that it added it and now I can use it. And I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom after that and we're going to click on save. And it will save that. And then back up at the top because it's opened in a new window, you're going to go back over to SynthShare. And then it's going to still be broken right here. But what we have to do is we have to refresh the page like we did before. And it's going to reach back out to SynthShare again. It's going to pull over any new information. And the new information is that we just attached that app. So we're going to click the Refresh Networks. And it's going to refresh it. And you're going to see that this broken heart is going to actually turn into a solid heart because we connected them. And there it is. Right there it is solid. Now, if I want it to show up over on the schedule a post page, like the other ones were that we had, I need to click on the heart that I just made solid, and I need to make it a navy color. On some computers or mobiles, it might look black. But I need to click this to the dark color, and then when I do that, now you'll see that over here on my schedule a post page, I now have the night of networking is there that I can schedule to by clicking that box. So simple. So you're going to do this um, for all of your Facebook groups that you want to be able to post to from SynthShare, and then you're going to do it for your pages too. All right. Then from here, the next tab over is the LinkedIn. No, I'm sorry. This is the Twitter button. So in order to connect your Twitter account, you're just going to come over here to add Twitter. 
here when we are on the computer, you can just open up another window, log into your Twitter account ahead of time, and then click the Add Twitter button, and it will connect to the Twitter account that you are logged into on that computer. The same thing for Instagram. You can do multiple Instagram accounts. You can do multiple Twitter accounts. And then it is the same thing again for LinkedIn. And you can link right to those. So if you go ahead in separate tabs on your computer, log into those ahead of time. It's going to save you so much time because you just click the add Instagram button, add Twitter button, add LinkedIn button, and it will connect to what you're already linked, uh, what you're already logged into. So that's how you're going to get all of those set up. And then once again, you're going to click that heart from teal to navy, and it's going to show up on your schedule of post pages someplace that you can post to. So let's come back over to the Facebook tab. Also on here is your timeline. Now your timeline probably has a broken heart, and what that means there is that you need to download the SynthShare app to your phone because our timeline scheduling um, Facebook took away the ability to auto schedule directly to your timeline, like a set it and forget it. They don't allow that anymore because of the excessive amount of spam. So instead, what happens is since you're created a workaround where you can still pre-schedule all of that content, all of your text, all of your images and stuff that you want to post to your timeline, and that at the date and time that you want it to post, our system sends what's called a push notification to your phone through the SynthShare app that says your scheduled post is ready to post and you just open it up, click post now, and then you, if you had any text, it already copied it when you hit the post now. So you just have to um, click inside the little box and paste it into your post and it is good to go. You hit post now and it will post onto the timeline for you literally in seconds. It took me longer to explain that than it actually takes to do it. Uh, but this way you can pre-schedule all of your content to your timeline ahead of time, but you do have to use that push notification through the SynthShare app on your phone to be able to post it because those are Facebook's guidelines and we cannot get around those. Also from here, like I said, you have your Facebook pages down here. They work the exact same way. You need to click the heart to navy if you want to be able to post to them. What I want to call your attention to from here are these eyeballs here. This is our hide and unhide networks uh, buttons. So if you are like me, I am an admin of so many different groups and that's because I do a lot of training groups right and parties and things like that so I have so many but my list is not very long here because I have chosen to hide almost all of the different places that I am an admin of and what it is is you come up here to the top and I can click on this eyeball and it's going to show you all of the different groups that I have gone in and hidden so I'll click on that and it opens them all up now look at all of these these are all the ones that I hid, so I don't have to look at them all the time. And how you hide the networks is when you are here on the, the My Networks page, this is where we've been the whole time, if you find something that you don't want to see anymore, maybe it's a party that's expired, maybe it's a group that you're not scheduling to, um, maybe it's a group that you've archived or whatever, you click the eyeball. Now watch what happens to the SynShare test group too. I click on the eyeball and it goes away. So it's no longer on this main list on my My Networks page. But if I did it accidentally, and look, you can do it on everything, on your timeline, on your groups, on your pages. But if I did it accidentally, I can just click on the eyeball again. It pulls up everything that I've hidden. So I can go down and find somewhere in here alphabetically <laughs> that since share test group, there it is, since share test group two, I can click the eyeball, and then I can go back to the original and it's back. So I didn't lose it. You're never gonna lose them. You can just hide them so that you don't have to look at them all of the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide that one again. Um, so that's what that eyeball does, which is so amazing because it really helps you um, clean up this, this part of the dashboard, especially if you have a lot of different groups and stuff. So while we still have you here, let me show you one more quick thing down here under your Facebook pages. You see this little icon, which is a person with a person on either side. This is where you can link up your Facebook group for your business and link your business page to it. 
And what's great about that is linking the two helps people find your Facebook group, but also by linking them, you can post into your Facebook group as your business page, which is what Facebook wants you to do. They want you to do business with your business page. So let me show you how to do this really quick. Before we actually click any of this in here, you need to go to your Facebook group. So open that up in a new tab. You're gonna come down here to groups on your sidebar, and we're gonna have to link up our group to our business page from inside of Facebook first. So link your group, and then it's gonna bring up a list of all the different groups that you uh, admin, and bear with me for one second because I um, have a bunch of them. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna link up the Social Cinch Club, which again is our community, and it says that I'm gonna link the group, and I hit link group, and then I wait for Facebook, and it says yay. So now my group is actually linked to this page, this Facebook page. So back over inside of CinchShare, if I want to connect and be able to post to the so Cinch Socials uh, group, sorry, the Social Cinch Club as my Cinch Socials page, I need to link up the group here on CinchShare as well. So I click on this and I'm going to go and I want to post to this Social Cinch Club as Cinch Socials. And then over here to the right, if you read this, it says if you don't see your group listed here, you need to make certain that your personal identity on Facebook is also an admin um, of that group because it needs to be in order for CinchShare to reach out and connect to it. So you don't have to post as your personal self in your Facebook group, but your personal self identity does have to be an admin of that group and that's what this over here says. So I click on the Social Cinch Club because I want to connect my Cinch Socials business page to the Social Cinch Club so I can post as my business page into that group. I click link and then now you can see that this is now linked up. It is dark so it means that I can post to it over here um, in the schedule a post page. So I have linked up that Facebook group to that business page, so simple. So from the Cinch Socials, you can see that it's, like I said, it's hooked up now. So drop that arrow down and then it says, I wanna turn on the linked group. So I wanna click that heart. So I not only wanna be able to post to my Cinch Socials page, I wanna be able to post to the Social Cinch Club as Cinch Social. So I have to click that heart for the linked group under the business page. And let me show you what that's gonna look like over here on Schedule a Post. So over here on Schedule a Post, I uh, can post into the Social Cinch Club as me, Melanie Moore, or I can drop down here and under Cinch Socials, I can post to the Social Cinch Club as Cinch Socials. 